Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. I want us to look at this what we looked at yesterday, um a continuation of the same dealing with fear. I dealt with it in some portion in terms of asking yourself your question uh, what is the worst my name is reverend elfas bire good morning and praise the lord now in this particular story the bible says in verse 6 for the lord had caused the armenians to hear the sound of the chariots and horses and a great army so that they say to one another look the king of israel has hired the hittite and the egyptian kings to attack us so they got up and fled in the dusk and abandoned their tents and their horses, their donkeys. They left the camp as it was and ran for their lives, dealing with fear. While this, what we're discussing this week, looks like things of human hands, this passage again depicts that we cannot just deal with our fear alone. God deals with our fear. In this particular case, the Bible says that, and God had caused them to run. There are people that are surrounding our lives. And maybe you do not know uh, what part you need to. There is your part when you wake up and do some human efforts of making a step of faith. And there is that which God causes in you and inside your lives. And makes even these people as strong as they have been able to enslave you, to move away from you. And that I want to share with you this morning. That dealing with fear part two is where God deals with our enemies. The enemies are many. The discouragers are many. You want to do anything. They discourage you every day. They know who can win. I'm telling you, even these elections, there are people that are know that they who can win. And any person that comes there, there are donkeys and there are horses. I want to tell you, God is able to deal with your fear. And we need to wake up and say, we can trust God. A friend of mine said the other day that if indeed we looked at God and say that he matters in our lives, then we would not shorten our prayer as if those things are done in a boardroom. Things are caused in the spiritual realm. It's, they are caused when we are able to look unto God and trust in his word. So this morning, I want to encourage you that those who are surrounding you doesn't matter how huge they are. In this particular passage, we see they came with the horses. They were riding with everything they had. God is able to cause somebody to rise up and be able to win a war they did not imagine they can win. The man who had leprosy can be able to stand up again and say, we are forgiven. We can take over silver. We can take gold that was actually uh, denied to us and be able to have victory. You need to trust God. You need to seek God. You need to pray God to God and say, God, I have been enslaved for quite a while and here I'm dealing with the fear, the fear of inability, the fear of I knowing that on my own I cannot do it and then God will really help you. Even in your family, even in your workplace, even in every for your assignment. The Bible says in verse 8, the man who had leprosy reached the edge of the camp and ate one of the tents and ate and drank. Remember, they were angry. They were hungry because of staying and they were almost dying of anger. They took silver and gold. They took silver, gold and clothes and went off and hid. They returned and, and entered another tent and took something from it and hid also. They say to each other, what we are doing is not right. This is the day of good news and we are keeping it to ourselves. If we wait until day, daylight, punishment will overtake us. Let's go at once and report this to the royal place. So they went and called out to the city and the gate people and told them, we went in the Armenian camp and no one was there. Look at this. God has been able to mark them. Have that. And when God gives you that victory, go and announce it to the right place, in the royal place. And they say, these things that we are partaking on, which was not our blessing, we've got there because God has taken me to a place of plenty and I want to give you praise. And so they announce that to the right place and the passage continues and continues. Let God, who you trust in, help you deal with the fear that you have in your life. 
and after you've dealt with the fear and you have overcome, please go and declare, go and declare that I have been able to see the victory of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Help us, to Lord, to see your victory, to see your declaration of you giving us victory. We fear many things, but Lord, may we find the boldness that come from your word, that come from your position, that come from your leading, that come from your encouragement, O oh God, like this uh, leprosy man, O oh God. We give you praise, we give you honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.